All right, I have a lot of long lasting fragrances in my collection, but I wanted to share with you my top 10 that really, really last a long time. And I'm talking at least eight hours. So if that is something that you're interested in, definitely keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to Sasha Sense. My name is Sasha. I do fragrance reviews, so if you enjoy that type of content, I really do hope you'll take a minute to subscribe, hit that bell, and then you know each time I upload a new fragrance review. I've got 10 fragrances from my collection that last a very, very long time. And what's great is if you're a guy and you're watching this, most of these are unisex fragrances, so they work perfectly for both men and women. So without further ado, let's just get right on into it. The very first one that I want to talk about, and I absolutely adore this fragrance, this one is Replica by The Fireplace or The Toilette by Mason Margiela. This is a unisex fragrance. This is definitely one of those fragrances that's very comforting, just feels warm and cozy. And a thing to note is if you enjoy smoky fragrances, you're really going to love this one. But I must warn you, this is a fragrance that is very similar to if you're sitting by an open fire pit. And perhaps the wind is blowing the smoke towards you. And then the next thing you know, you're in this cloud of smoke. Your clothes kind of smell smoky. That's what you're going to get from this, especially in the opening. It's very strong when it comes to that smokiness. But it has some slight sweetness to it as well as what I really, really enjoy. You're going to get some hints of chestnut. There's some clove oil in here as well as some cashmere and vanilla. And I really do love the way this dries down on the skin. It does become very cozy, very comforting. You're still going to have that smokiness in there, but it's not going to be quite as strong as it was in the opening. But I love this one. So if you enjoy a good, smoky, slightly sweet, intoxicating type of fragrance, you will absolutely love Replica by The Fireplace by Maison Margiela. All right, this is the Ben Fumé of the Parfum by Tom Ford. This is another great unisex fragrance. However, in my opinion, this one does lean a little bit more on the masculine side. And typically, I'm not one that really enjoys wearing fragrances that are too masculine. But something about this particular fragrance I think is absolutely fantastic. This is your classic woody type of fragrance. It is smoky. It has that Palo Santo wood. It smells really, really good. This one is not quite as sweet as the By the Fireplace. This one is going to be still that smokiness, but it's a lot more woody, less sweet. It has some ebony wood in as well as that Palo Santo. And then there's a slight whisper of rose. And that rose is really drowned out by that smokiness. However, it does seem to appear a little bit more as time goes on with your skin. Great projection. I really do enjoy wearing this one. It lasts a really long time. It's very different. It's definitely one of those fragrances that is going to get you a lot of compliments. This is probably better for the colder months or maybe a night out on the town. But I really do enjoy this one. And again, this was the Ben Fumé by Tom Ford. All right, this is Black Orchid Eau de Parfum by Tom Ford. This is another Tom Ford fragrance that's very popular. This one is very dark and sensual. A lot of people feel like this one is more like goth or if you're walking into an old cathedral and I can see why some people feel that way. I really do like this one now in the beginning when I smelled this one about two years ago. Honestly, it made me gag. I know that sounds terrible, but I was like, I couldn't even be around it. I thought it was just awful. And as my nose has developed so much with smelling so many different types of fragrances, this has easily become one of my favorites. It is very dark, it's beautiful, it's seductive, it's sensual. And this opens up with a black orchid that mixes with some black truffle, which I don't know if you've ever had like a uh, truffle soup. You know how that can like be so overpowering where your entire room smells like that? It's not quite as strong in here. It's offset by a lot of patchouli. So if you enjoy patchouli, and orchid this is definitely a fragrance that you will like it is not an easy blind buy so i do recommend that you go into a store like sephora or i believe they have it at macy's and try it out for yourself let it sit on your skin for a little while let it breathe 
and then see if it is something that you would want to bring into your collection. It is very, very long lasting. It is beautiful. It is one of those fragrances that you would want to wear a black dress. You're going out on the town, a fancy dinner. It really stands out. It's a compliment getter. And again, it is a great fragrance. And that was Black Orchid by Tom Ford. All right, next is Sandalwood and Oak, and this is by Sense of Wood. This is another great unisex fragrance. I find myself getting so into these smoky, woody types of fragrances. I think they're beautiful. Never in a million years, two years ago, would I ever think that I would be in these types of fragrances because I've always been one of those people that love the gourmands, really sugary, syrupy, gourmand food like delicious types of fragrances and i'm really enjoying these types and this one is gorgeous and i don't know if you're familiar with sense of wood but they age all of their fragrances in these oak barrels and it gives these fragrances such a unique scent they're beautiful they're long lasting oh i love this one this one definitely smells you definitely get that sandalwood. So if you enjoy fragrances with sandalwood, with oak, you're going to absolutely love this one. It's not quite as smoky as the other ones, but it is still slightly smoky. You've got this guyac wood in here as well as some burnt sugar. So there's a slight sweetness in here. It's not overpowering. I think they did a really nice job with this one. It has some smoked sage, which you will pick up on, and then vanilla beans. So a really nice combination of notes, a beautiful fragrance, definitely one that I recommend more for the colder months or evenings, but it has very nice projection, very nice longevity. And again, this one was the Sandalwood and Oak by Sense of Wood. We're sticking with Sense of Wood. This is another great fragrance of theirs, and this one is Plum and Cognac. This one is a lot more sweet. It's got this juicy plum. This is a great unisex fragrance as well. This has to be just one of my all-time favorites in my collection. I just think it's gorgeous. Ah, oh, it has this beautiful slight sweetness that you're getting from that plum. There's cognac. It's luscious. It's addictive. There's also some caramel as well as tobacco. And then you have a little bit of spiciness in this one that you're gonna get from some cinnamon and nutmeg. There's also, like I mentioned, that plum, there's vanilla and vetiver. So a gorgeous fragrance that I think is just absolutely breathtaking. When I wear this one, I definitely get a lot of compliments because it's so different. It really stands out. People wanna know what I'm wearing and it'll last the whole night long. And it's just beautiful. So if you want a fragrance that's stunning and that works great for both men and women, slightly spicy, a little bit sweet, smoky, you're going to absolutely love Plum and Cognac by Sense of Wood. And then La Nuit Tresor of the Parfum by Lancome. This is my second bottle. I think this is a beautiful fragrance by Lancome. I find it to be very mesmerizing, very seductive. This opens with a really nice lychee and raspberry. So it has that jammy, sweet opening that is not overly sweet, but I, I love the sweetness in here. I think it's done really well. Oh man. And it mixes really nice with a rose accord and there's some incense in here. So you're getting a slight smokiness. There's some praline in, as well as patchouli. I find this to be a gorgeous feminine fragrance. It's long lasting. It's beautiful. It's elegant. It's sophisticated. You will feel absolutely amazing wearing this particular fragrance. So if you have not tried this one by Lancome, I definitely urge you to give it a try. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, La Nuit Tresor by Lancome. All right, this is Vangia 21 Other the Bomb by the Merchant of Venice. This is a great unisex fragrance. It's very rich, very opulent, and it also has some cinnamon in here, a little praline, and then you're getting some saffron. So if you like saffron, you're definitely going to pick it up in this fragrance. Mixes really well with some patchouli. You've got a little bit of oud in here, some incense, as well as some myrrh and vanilla. So a really well-rounded fragrance that I think does extremely well for the colder months, the evening, you know, events. If you're going to a formal dinner or a black tie event, this is definitely a fragrance that I highly recommend. And I, again, it's unisex, so it works great. It's right down the middle long lasting, projects well, definitely a unique fragrance that's going to get a lot of attention. And again, that was Vangia 21 by the Merchant of Venice.
All right, we're going to keep going with the Merchant of Venice. This is the other fragrance that I picked. It's Arabesque Eau de Parfum. Another great fragrance that I think is absolutely stunning. This is unisex. Oh, it's unisex, but this one leans slightly, slightly feminine in my opinion. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. A guy could totally pull this one off, no worries. And this one has, this opens with a little bit of a ginger. It's very warm very cozy, slightly, slightly spicy. You're getting some sweet plum in here. And then you have some tobacco leaves, some cinnamon, as well as I mentioned, some tonka, musk, and vetiver. So a gorgeous fragrance. Again, this is perfect for an evening event or the colder months. I think this might be a little bit too much when it gets hot out. So you kind of, it, it might become a little too cloying. So keep this one more for the cooler months, but an all around gorgeous fragrance that I have grown to absolutely love, I, and it's been very cold where I'm at in California, believe it or not. We've had our days like 40, 50 degrees, which is crazy, and I've been enjoying this one a lot, and this again is Arabesque by The Merchant of Venice. All right, this is Sandal Granada Eau de Parfum by Moresque. This is a unisex fragrance, and their bottles are absolutely gorgeous. All of their bottles are like a work of art. They're just absolutely stunning. Now, this fragrance is an ode to the last Arabic capital in Europe, which is Granada. And this is a gorgeous fragrance that is unisex, but this one, in my opinion, definitely leans more masculine. Although it is a gorgeous fragrance, lots of leather in here. So if you enjoy fragrances with leather, then this is definitely something you will really, really enjoy. This has some sandalwood in the opening. You're going to get hints of some rose that mixes with a leather. And it's not a suede type of leather. It's more of a sharper leather, if that makes sense. Also has some vanilla. You're going to get some incense in here as well as honey. Man, this fragrance lasts a super, super long time. Great projection. It definitely leaves a very nice trail. People are going to know you were in the room long after you've left. But this, again, was the Sandal Granada by Moresque. All right. I can't skip Angel Muse Eau de Parfum by Mugler. This is decadent and rich, especially if you love chocolate. Oh, my goodness. This is a great fragrance that just smells absolutely delicious. It opens with some pink pepper as well as grapefruit. But the grapefruit kind of disappears pretty quickly. After about 30 minutes, you're not going to really be able to smell it anymore because this is where that hazelnut cocoa spread starts to come through, like that Nutella. Mixes with a little bit of patchouli and vetiver to leave this just sumptuous, delicious, decadent smelling fragrance. Now, this is geared towards women. However, I find this to be a unisex fragrance. In my honest opinion, that leans slightly masculine. So if you're a guy and you've wanted to try Angel Muse, go for it. I think you could totally pull this one off. Great fragrance. People know this one. It's very popular. And I went on their site the other day, so I don't know if it's being discontinued. I couldn't find it on Moogler's site, so I don't know if you can get your hands on it. Definitely check it out. I think you'll love this one. It is more for the colder months. I would say most of these are because of the heavy smokiness in here the woodiness, all of that makes this probably more suitable for the colder months. And since we're still in the colder months, there's not a reason why you couldn't wear them now, but they're all lovely fragrances. But this one was Angel Muse by Mugler. Love this one, especially if you love chocolate, definitely check it out. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you again real soon.